Hello guys, Lifehackster here. It has been a year now that I have been using the Ring Alarm. I will link my review a year ago and also my update video in the description down below. I can safely say that it hasn't given me any issues since I installed it. It has worked day in and day out. Batteries on the sensors are also holding up. And all my sensors still shows good battery levels. Even my frequently used ones, especially my front and side doors. It is currently green and the battery level should be around 26 to 100 percent and it will turn yellow if the battery only has 11 to 25 percent and red if it falls below 10 percent. Ring states that these CR123A batteries can last up to three years. Also, since I installed this system, I only have to charge the keypad one time, actually just about a couple months ago. I normally don't use the keypad though and most of the time we do the arming and disarming using the app. Now, I have the professional monitoring which is only $100 a year and I think it is one if not the cheapest alarm monitoring that I know of. But if you have ring cameras around your house, the $100 a year also covers the cloud subscription of all your ring cameras so that you can watch and review the recorded footage. So if you have the ring ecosystem in your house, then you have the cheapest security subscription. I did have a few comments a while back about people saying that the Ring system is junk and the best system is with a contract wired alarm company that have monitoring stations all around the nation. Well guys, the truth is, since DIY alarm companies started like the Simply Safe and now the Ring Alarm, the traditional alarm companies are hurting and they are hurting bad that they will try all the tricks in the book just to convince you that wired alarm system is the best. To me, monitoring company is a monitoring company. They only have one job, to contact you first when the alarm goes off and determine if they need to call emergency services. If you don't answer, then they will automatically call the police. I've tested this with Ring when my alarm went off one time since I installed it. And it is because of the smoke alarm, which I have the first alert smoke and carbon monoxide detector and I did some broiling in the oven that caused some smoke that triggered the detector. And this is with the alarm in disarmed mode. As you can see, the response time is pretty quick and the alarm doesn't need to be armed to trigger the smoke detectors. Now, I will tell you why this DIY wireless alarm systems are better than wired. Like with my Ring Alarm, it uses Z-Wave technology, which has been in the market for 20 years and they are easy to install, affordable, and also secure. They use strong encryption and security features. You can also build up your security system and by purchasing sensors and signal extenders, you'll be able to install sensors even outside your home, like in your outdoor shed or barn for example. And you don't need to worry about wires. Just imagine how much extra you're going to pay a contract alarm company if you want to have a contact or motion sensor in your outdoor shed. Also, I've made several videos about cars getting broken into and this is happening all across the country. It is pretty rampant here in my surrounding neighborhood. But I will tell you a little hack that you can do if you have the ring alarm. And probably you can also do it if you have the Simply Safe or any other wireless alarm systems. In my case, I can use either of the ring sensors, motion or contact sensors. By the way, I will also link my car alarm videos in the description down below so that you can check them out. As you know, PIR, motion sensors, which are the ones that they use in alarm systems, cannot detect through glass. So you can actually place a motion sensor inside your car and not worrying about getting a false alarm. Or you can place it inside the center console or glove compartment if you want, to make sure there will be no false alarms. By the way, thieves will always look inside these areas. You can also use the contact sensors but I like the motion detectors because you can place it anywhere. But remember, for this to work effectively, you want the sensor to be only armed when you are in home mode and not on away mode. 
This is to avoid tripping the sensor when you're just getting in your car and you already armed your alarm system. With the ring alarm, just go to your alarm devices, choose the sensor that you'll be placing in your car, click in mode settings, and make sure home mode is checked and not the away mode. So if you park your car, boat, or RV outside in your driveway, you can now protect them too and will trigger the alarm and the cops will be called if needed. This is basically a set it and forget it. Just make sure that you put your alarm in home mode at night. Now back to the Ring Alarm itself. Ring is now selling a flood and freeze sensor which I recently purchased. Setup is easy and you can easily connect it to your alarm system just like how you set up the other sensors. I will place this sensor in the washroom just in case my washer gives out on us. This is also a free sensor which I'm pretty sure it will not get activated. I like that Ring sends you a notification when somebody tampers or opens up your sensor. And this feature is on all the Ring sensors. Ring also has a smoke and CO listener which I don't need because I have the first alert smoke and CO detector itself. And they work good and as you have seen them in action earlier in the video. Ring also is selling a physical panic button, but also updated their app to have easy access to sound the siren, notify the police or fire station. They also have a third party devices tab on their website and you will see smart locks and switches. Please note that there are more models that are compatible. The best way for you to know if the device you are planning to connect will work with Ring is to go to the setup page and see if the brand and model is compatible. One thing that I have been waiting for is the glass break sensor hopefully in the near future. For now, if you have Alex A, you can integrate your ring alarm and smart lighting to Alex A Guard. In the Alex A app, go to settings, scroll down to guard, click setup, and add smoke alerts if you want notifications when sound of smoke or carbon monoxide alarm is detected. Then you can add glass break sounds if you want to be notified if breaking of glass is detected. Then click Add Ring Security System to integrate the guard to your ring alarm. If you have smart lighting, you can also add it so that you, when you're not home and Alex A guard is in away mode, it will randomly turn on or off lights to make it look like there is somebody home. Click Confirm to finish setup. Another cool update that Ring has made is now you can link Ring devices together. As to the alarm, you can link your ring cameras to start recording when the alarm goes into entry delay or when the alarm is triggered. So you can set your stick up cam to only record when these events happen. And even when you turn the recording and motion detection and the camera settings to off. Most of us don't want to be recorded when we are at home, but want our indoor cameras to record if something happens like when the alarm goes off. By the way, my ring stick up cam recorded 3 minutes of footage. Some FAQs about the ring alarm and this is where a lot of you have asked questions. The ring alarm mostly operates using your Wi-Fi or can be connected directly to your router to access the internet, which is currently my setup. But if you have professional monitoring, the base station has a cellular backup provided by AT&T and you will still be protected even if the internet is out. The base station itself has a 24-hour backup battery. And you will also get notified by a push notification when the power is out and also when it kicks back in. You'll be able to arm or disarm the alarm using the keypad, using the app on your phone, and also via computer when you log into your account online. Well, that's it guys and thanks for watching. And I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the little bell icon so that you will get notified when I upload long-term reviews like this video, product reviews, comparison videos, and product updates. Thank you.